Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you an answer to a very common question we get, which is how do I take my N5 content and embed it in another web page? So here I have a very simple InDesign file. Uh, it's got three pages, and your document, no doubt, will be much more interesting than this. Uh, but we're just going to use this for the sake of demo. And I'm going to use a piece of HTML called an iframe to embed our N5 web page into another web page. And to do that uh, and keep it nice and clean, I'm going to use an extra little bit of code and I'll show you the CSS for that right now. Uh, I just, I'm setting the margin and the padding to zero of the, the slider we're going to export. And I'm going to attach that when I go up to file and export HTML5 with N5. I have enabled the swipe navigation, but I've turned off the back and next arrows, and I'm using the horizontal slider format. And then the resources, I've attached the CSS file that I just showed you, and I've already exported this, so I'm going to switch over to my browser. And actually what I did, I need this, this page to be accessible to another web page. So I've actually gone and uploaded it to a web address, and here's that address. And I can just swipe through and just show you that document is working as expected. And it's sitting in the upper left hand corner because of the margin and the padding settings that I added. And uh, so let's just take a look at why we're going to put this in an iframe just for a little more information. So um, looking in the finder here, this is what M5 has produced. Uh, an index, HTML file, and an assets directory. And one of the common mistakes that comes up is uh, somebody might take the index file and put it in a folder, upload it somewhere, and not do the same with the assets directory. And that doesn't work because the index file is actually dependent on the assets directory. And a similar question, I'm going to switch over here and actually show you the content of the index HTML file is can I just copy the content of this index.html file and paste it somewhere and the answer is no for the same reason uh, because this file is dependent on all of the files in the assets directory so this file is trying to reach out to scripts and CSS files and it's also trying to reach out, reach out to um, you know, any images that were produced or if you have movies or audio, anything like that. So this index file is not standalone and that's why we're going to treat it like a complete website and embed it into another website using the iframe. So the code for the iframe is actually pretty simple and you can, you can put it into any HTML file but I'm going to show you how to add it to a WordPress blog post. So this is typically what it's, I've already got the code, so you can you can see it there. And this is typically at least what what my WordPress editor looks like. I tend to start on the Visual tab. It's just a little bit easier to make edits. But to add this iframe, let's go into the text tab, which will actually allow us to paste and modify HTML. So I'm gonna blow up the text size of my browser here, just so it's easier for you to see. So I've got an iframe tag, and the most essential part is that I have this SRC, this source tag, that's pointing to that HTML file you just saw. It's an HTML file that's out on the web. I've got a height and a width that matches my InDesign document. And I've also added the style to set the border to zero and set the overflow to hidden so that there are no scroll bars. And then the other important piece is that I close this iframe. So now I'm going to set the text size back down to zero. And I'm just going to preview it and show you what it looks like inside another web page here. So here is that piece of N5 content. I can swipe it, and any other interactivity that would be in there would be working, all inside of a WordPress blog post. So give that a try for yourself and see what you can do by embedding your N5 content into an iframe. Thanks for watching.